Okay, so this video is going to show you how to install Gorilla if you have multiple user accounts on your Mac. Uh, if you have an admin account and you install with the admin account and then try to launch Gorilla with a user account on the same machine, Gorilla will not launch uh, because Gorilla needs access to the documents folder and it installs, when you install Gorilla, it installs the Gorilla 7 folder. This is the data folder right here in documents that is needed when uh, to, for Gorilla to launch. So right now I am in the admin account. Let me go into settings, users and groups. And as you can see here, I have an admin account and I have a standard account. Now in this instance, I installed Gorilla using the admin account. So it did install properly and it can launch properly. If you click on applications here in, uh, the, in Gorilla, if you click on launch, it will launch Gorilla. It will find, it's now looking for and launching the launch Gorilla file and the data files in the documents folder. So that's important to understand. It is going here and launching this information right here, this file in particular. Now, if I have a user account right here, if I did not install Gorilla using the user account, it will not launch. So one option is to uh, install the uh, application from the user account and not the admin account. However, if you already installed Gorilla with the admin account and want also Gorilla to have uh, uh, access with a user account, there is a workaround for that. So I'm going to show you uh, how to do that right now. So I'm going to log out of the admin account and log in to the user account. Okay, as you can see, my background is different. I am now logged in as the user. And if I go to applications and locate the Gorilla folder right here and launch it. Notice that it launches FileMaker Pro, uh, which is the uh, database that we use for Gorilla, but it cannot find, it cannot find the launch Gorilla folder. Now, normally you probably won't even see this here. I already did this and fixed it. So I'm looking at this, but you might not even see this file. So what you need to do, I'm gonna quit this and I'm gonna go to documents. And notice that in documents, I do not have the Gorilla 7 folder here. It is looking for that folder and it can't find it. So it's launching the FileMaker Pro app and it cannot launch Gorilla. Okay, so I'm back in the admin account right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the Gorilla 7 folder that is here in documents. I'm gonna copy it and I'm going to uh, paste it onto this USB drive. So I'm going to copy this folder to my USB drive, which is already connected to my Macintosh. Now, if you have a network, you don't have to use a USB drive. Um, you can copy the Gorilla 7 folder to a network drive. That'll work just fine also. But just have, understand that you need to have access to copy, not just to access it, but to copy this folder uh, from the standard or from the other user account into the documents folder. So I'm going to copy this right here to this account. This is my USB drive right here. I copied from the doc folder, the Gorilla 7 folder. I am going to take this folder and copy it over to the documents folder. Okay, once that is done, I'm going to check it. I'm going to click on the Gorilla 7 folder here. And these are the correct files here that's needed. Gorilla 714 is the name of the current application. This is important too. It's going to look for that. And these are some other files. So now let's see what happens. If I go into Gorilla and double click the Gorilla folder, notice I get the same thing. And that is because we just need to link it. It's not linked because when you use the installer to install Gorilla, it automatically links this application to your documents folder because you allow access to documents when you do the install. That's important. When you do the install, it says, do you want to in allow access to documents? And you click yes. We didn't click yes here. We did this sort of in a back way. So even though 
even though I'm going to quit this, even though right now, well, I don't have to quit it. I'll show you. Yeah, I will quit it. Even though the files are there, it cannot access them because we don't have access. So the, the uh, bypass to this, and we just have to do one more thing, is launch from here initially, from here, from the documents folder. I'm going to launch it and notice that it is launching. Okay. And we have to do one more thing to allow launch from applications. We're going to close this what's new. We're going to go up here to extras, click admin options, click access. And we're going to do this section here, open FileMaker preferences, which is what we need to do. So we're going to click on file again, fix, open, admin preferences and look at down here at startup open file so we have to click this now if you do not see the path here that's fine just click browse and we this is what we need to select the launch gorilla file in documents okay and that's what we need to select here in order for it to to launch i already did that so you can see it's in documents click ok and i'm going to close this i'm going to quit gorilla one more time, we're going to test it. We're going to go to Applications, Gorilla, Launch. Now, we are in the user, the standard user, uh, not the admin, and notice that it is launching. So this is very, very important in order to access Gorilla from different accounts. Now, so another reason why this is important is because when a user saves a schedule or a budget, it will save in their documents folder. So let me show you that. Let me go ahead and click here and we're going to save options for this one and click documents. And when we do that, we're going to close this video. Here's the save file name. Notice the path. It says Macintosh HD users Ethan Storm. That is my standard, my second user, my non-admin user. Documents, Gorilla saved files save schedules go ahead and click save and it is now saving to that documents folder let's hide gorilla and open up our documents real quick and as columns and here's the gorilla saved files folder and if i click it there's the save schedules folder and there is the file that we just saved. If we were to log in now as the admin account, this saved file, this schedule file would not be accessible to that admin account. Okay, so that is also very important. So another thing I'm going to mention is that if you do want to have multiple users uh, working with Gorilla on the same machine, like different user accounts, different student accounts, etc., do not launch Gorilla from here, okay? Launch Gorilla from the documents folder from here, all right? That's important. Why? Because you will get that FileMaker uh, thing again if you keep on going to the applications folder. So for example, if I launch Gorilla, let's say I'm gonna launch it here. Oh, it's already launched. So if I go to file, remember this app part we did before, admin options, access, and then admin preferences. Right now, at startup, it's going to open Ethan Storm. So every single time, it's going to look for Ethan Storm and open that. If I want multiple users to access the same machine, then uh, either, uh, uh, either deselect this or select it, but make sure that the person launching Gorilla uh, launches from the documents folder because this will always now that this is set up this way this is going to launch ethan storm's documents and if ethan storm documents is not logged in it will not find it and it will open filemaker pro so that is important so i'm going to click that i'm going to close this and uh again if we log out of ethan storm and go into i'm not going to do it yet right now if we log out of ethan storm <clears throat> and log in with admin and try launching from here, it will look for Ethan Storm. So, but if I went into the uh, admin's documents and launch from here, we'll be just fine, okay? So I hope that helps. Very important to understand all these things when installing multiple users 
uh, on a Mac.